All right, guys, this is Axe Battler for the Sega Game Gear, or Axe Battler, the Legend of Golden Axe. Now, before I start this review, I want to let everyone know that um, I had to use a different emulator to at least do this review because the Kega Fusion emulator that I normally use would not run this game. I don't know why this game in particular. Another thing I want to mention, the reason the volume is very low is that the sound of this emulator is terrible. So I want to let everyone know that the bad sound has nothing to do with the game. The game sounds fine normally on the game here, but in this emulator, Lord have mercy, it's bad. So this game came out in 1992 and it's a action RPG and it's a spin-off of Golden Axe where you play as Axe Battler. And you need to find the Golden Axe to defeat Death Adder. So, it's a spin-off and it's an action RPG. And it's very similar to, like, Zelda 2, where the action is side-scrolling. And now, I want to show this off. Um, this is how the battle is. And you just saw, I got hit once, the battle's over. I'm walking around, and then I get into another battle. This is one of my biggest issues I have with this game, and you're already witnessing it. The encounter rating is ridiculous. You can move only like four steps, and then you get into a nerve battle. And the worst part of all is if you get hit just once, the battle is over. So you end up losing your experience. It's really stupid. I don't know why they did this. And your reward if you do win a, uh, a battle is a magic base, which is like your currency, basically. So you need to uh, go through certain towns and certain caves in order to uh, progress throughout the game. So... I'm trying to get into this cave, I end up getting into a nerve battle. It's just ridiculous. One, all right, so there are some positives. One is that this game looks great for an early Game Gear game. This came out in 1992. Another thing I will say is the music's pretty catchy. Um, this game has a pretty nice soundtrack, and it fits the game really well. So, so now, after this, I can finally go into a cave. And we get into another major issue. And it's an issue that I feel that plagued a lot of Sega Game Gear games is that there's a lot of screen crunch and unfortunately you're not really gonna see what's gonna come ahead of you it makes the game extremely frustrating sometimes and you see i ended up getting the game over and guess what i have to go back to where, where i last where a town i was in or because we were so early in the game in the castle so back to square one essentially and i feel like that's really one of the big issues I have with this game is that the screen crunch could get really really annoying because you end up just running into so many enemies in this game especially when you're trying to get through uh, certain parts of the game it just gets it just wears on you this game is pretty short um, it's about an hour long I was able to finish it on my PSP emulator which sometimes has trouble running uh, a few Game Gear games and certain Game Boy games. It's not all that perfect. So yeah, the reason I'm in this cave is to get an item and that ends up taking me to a certain town. But as you can see, I'm just getting my ass completely uh, destroyed over here. <laughs> it's a little tough to control. And it's just so many enemies just coming into you. And it just really just takes a toll out of you. So, the question I want to ask, is this game worth it? Honestly, this is one of the few noteworthy Game Gear games that I really have a trouble time recommending. Um, I'm I don't want to like down people's opinions or anything like that, uh, but I'm surprised this game got some pretty nice reception. Considering just how high the encounter rating is and just how... Um, how much screen crunch is in it, but I feel like those issues really downplayed the game a lot, and it just made the game very frustrating to play. Uh, 
it's not the hardest game in the world. You can beat it. Just don't be surprised you get game overs a lot because of the, of the multiple enemies. And you have to really know where to go. So that's my biggest issue. It play, it, it's, it's a nice looking game. The music is good. But it's just the gameplay just falters a little bit. And I just think it's not really the best Game Gear game out there. If you find it cheap, okay, I would recommend it, but if you end up paying like how much I did, I end up paying almost $9 for this game, I don't really think it's all that worth it. It's a shame because I feel like if they would have ironed out some of the flaws, it would have been a really fun game. And definitely one of the best Game Gear games, but unfortunately, these flaws really just hamper the game a lot, so... It's just a really tough game for me to recommend, so I will say it's a cautious recommend if you want a challenging game. But if not, then avoid this game at all costs. But anyways guys, um, hope you enjoyed this review. We are Game Lawyer 58, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. And yes, I died right where the item was. Oh, this game.